Chrome, we got a lot of news for today's video. Listen to this right here. Very interesting stuff from Utility FTW. Ripple XRP and Seller Org XLM representing in Davos, right? WEF. Ethereum and consensus not found as we see right here. Brad Gollinghouse, right? From Ripple and then as well from the Stellar team right there. If we go here, Ethereum, no matches found. No matches found, guys. So we see the differences, right? Something else not found, El Salvador. Again, what wins at the, what wins at the end, guys? What wins at the end? Right? These ISO coins, to say the least. Now, look at this. A lot of CBDC talk, right, from the WEF. And this is exactly where XRP comes in. A neutral, decentralized, and extremely efficient currency that can also act as a bridge between two government-issued currencies that carry counterparty risk. CBDCs could also simplify and reduce the cost of payments and remittances while forming the basis for more efficient, more secure interbank payments networks. However, in order to improve cross-border payments and remittances, more is needed to be done. Imagine the Fed accepting China's CBDC or the opposite. This is never going to happen. Not to mention countries with inflation problems. A CBDC is still a liability and actually an IOU. That's why, listen to this guys, a neutral and open bridge currency is needed to really make cross-border money transfers effective and efficient. XRP is known to be perfectly suited for cross-border payments because it enables the exchange of two currencies acting as a neutral bridge without any risk and having to trust it and all these in seconds and without the need of banks to hold foreign currencies and nostril vostril accounts right avoid pre-funding with instant settlements xrp as we see right here guys the exchange flow right flowing in and then flowing out 24 7 guys I mean, all the proof is right here that XRP has been thought about a long time ago. Look at this. Delves, delves into the deeper technical problems presented by central bank digital currencies. Listen to this. You are a worker and you want to send money to your family in euros, in dollars. 6.3% is the cut of the intermediary. And obviously, this is an opportunity for advancement to use technology to make advancements. Where is the difficulty? The difficulty is that today, monetary policy in a country, or as it is the case in the Eurozone, within the Eurozone, is defined by the central bank, the FED, the European Central Bank. And this monetary policy applies to the territory, the jurisdiction, how could central bank digital currency cross borders and go into another jurisdiction? Would that create a risk of currency substitution? So the, uh, everybody says, I want uh, ECB's uh, CBDC. I want the, uh, yeah. the E-Euro. E -Euro. Uh, and these are unresolved uh, issues, but it doesn't mean they cannot be resolved. Quote unquote, she said, unresolved issues. <laughs> Guys, it has already been resolved, right? Come on. It it's hilarious. Blockworks to sweet out. MasterCard CEO, Swift, the international interbank messaging system, won't exist in five years' time. Oh, wouldn't you say so, right? Swift equal past. RippleNet equal future. XRP, the greatest digital asset for payments, as we see right here. What we are doing and executing on a day-to-day -day or day-by-day -day basis is in fact taking over SWIFT. Guys, there we go. We see the proof, right? We did not make these things up. Listen to this right here. What is ISO 222, right? Is what is ISO 20,022? Essentially, it is the newest standard for payments in the banking system. Uh, the banking system previously used SWIFT, uh, which was very slow. It cost a lot to send transactions, and it often failed, so it was very risky. These new ISO tokens include XRP, XDC, XLM, Algo, and IOTA. But I'm going to go over the top three, which is the Xs, XRP, XDC, and XLM, which are going to be the newest staples in our financial system. 
the first and probably the most important ISO token we're going to be talking about is XRP. Now, the company behind it is Ripple. Uh, they found a problem sending money from one country to another with the SWIFT system I mentioned previously. Uh, it's very expensive with the fees. It's very slow. You'd be better off just hopping on a play of money than sending it through SWIFT. And it's risky. The payments don't always go through. They're partnered with multiple banks and institutions. And they're currently being sued by the SEC. And if you look at any of the other companies such as Tesla, such as Amazon that have been sued by the SEC in the past, you see what happens right after they get that clarity. The next ISO token. So then he talks about XEC and then XLM as well. There we go. Listen to what he stated right there. Remember, Tesla got sued and Amazon as well. Guess what happened right after the fact? Come on, guys, right? They're household names, basically. Linda P. Jones is sweet out. Did you catch this? In the Forbes article, it says the new crypto bill being proposed is expected to define whether different cryptocurrencies are either securities or commodities. Maybe this will dismiss the SEC lawsuit. Perhaps, guys, right? The bill is expected to define whether different cryptocurrencies are either securities or commodities and which agency will have oversight of them, either the SEC or the CFTC. <gasps> guys, there we go. Again, we know the conclusion of the case could be happening out of the blue, right? So, always be prepared for that scenario guys right which in my opinion is coming very soon now x anderson pseudo so clayton said that we should not expect any clarity for crypto in a long time except for stable coins and custody now blackrock fidelity invests in circle after luna regulators will push for stable coin regulations what will happen if the ripple lawsuit is finalized wild speculation imagine getting regulatory clarity for stable coins custody at around the same time the Ripple lawsuit is finalized. XRP having most clarity in the U.S. market. Could, could USDC then be issued as IOU on XRPL? XRPL is a great solution for stablecoin issuance, right? Hmm. Again, different theories, guys, right? What do you guys think will take place? Will there be a decimation of the cryptosphere because of regulations? Or will it take a long time for regulations to appear? Bitfinex is pseudo El Salvador price predictions a little off as we see right here. Bitcoin and then look at that guys. I mean, what's going on here? <sighs> Next week comes from Xanchi once again. What's up with all these bullish statements all of a sudden? Do they want us to buy now? Yeah, so we could get wrecked, right? We see right here, JP Morgan, Bitcoin and Crypto are now our preferred alternative assets. And I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, they did say that it could go up 30% in a short amount of time as well. Now, I do believe that can take place. But the issue with that is we go up 30% percent let just speculate. And everyone gets extremely bullish at those prices, right? Or just bullish. Guess what comes next? In my humble opinion, not financial advice. We dump all the way back down, right? Take the low from, I think it was 25k Bitcoin, bottomed out temporarily, right? And then go even lower than 25k perhaps, guys, right? Not financial advice, but that's what I think will take place. It will trick both people. The bullish people and then the bearish people as well, right? Do we see the market psychology? Bitcoin update, right? So basically, this is the plan, guys, in my humble opinion. We do see the different type of waves, right? One, two, three, four, five. It does look like we are quote unquote bottomed out in the very short period of time, right? But it does seem like we should be going back up and that's where JP Morgan probably knows what's upcoming. We go back up and then we probably fall all the way back down, right? Create a new bottom, which should in fact be the, the bottom, right? <laughs> now, the UI investing is video, don't forget DXY. So basically, what's going to take place? Are we going to blast through this resistance with the DXY or are we going to fall back down? Now, we have been dumping a little bit with the D with the dollar, but I do believe the dollar will have to go up, guys, before it does really crash all the way down, right? So we'll wait and see what actually takes place because it all depends on this chart as well. But when this chart does top out is when we'll see XRP and 
and and probably the utility ISO coins go explosive, right? They go up and never stop. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have please leave a like, so have some pretty much amazing day. Anyway, guys, see ya.